for my tits. <laughs> She's back. What is up? So she is back with a what? A fucking vlog. I'm gonna take you guys around what I'm gonna be doing today on a Saturday morning. Well, Saturday day. So to start off the day, what I'm going to do is have a little smoke. After this, I'm going to head out to get an oil change for my car. There has to be a software update. And I think there's a recall on my car as well. I will finish this bowl real quick and I will see you guys when I'm over there. So yeah. I just left my car. I just got an oil change and then the recall done. So I'm just gonna end up picking up my car tomorrow because right now someone is gonna come pick me up and we are going to head out to freaking TJ. I am about 20 minutes away from TJ. My friend, she's popping gas over there. I'm not gonna be really showing her face since she's not really a fan of the camera and stuff. So we're getting gas. I was gonna get some chips. 20 minutes away, we're not too far. So I'm eating these little organic little gummies. They're so good, guys. Like These are vegan, since my friend is vegan. Mm, you know, she tries to provide me with the healthiest things. Keep cleaning the window, it's okay. Okay, just make sure I'm not in it. No, I know, I still go right ahead and clean the window. Yep, like it's gonna make her car look even cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> We're about um, 20 minutes away and I am hungry so we're gonna eat some vegan food over there That's why we're heading out over there to try out new things and I'm gonna take you guys along with me and show you guys what's available for my you know Vegetarian vegan people out there over there in TJ if they ever want to visit, you know It's actually gonna be a little segment in my videos. My friend was the one that gave me the idea So that's gonna be a thing that's gonna be going on um, on my channel So if you guys are down for it, let me know but regardless, I'm still gonna do them <laughs> So yeah. Okay guys, we're about to cross. I know we're still not fucking there, but we came here to exchange our money for pesos. I'm rich, guys. Oh my gosh. So I got $6 worth of pesos. Hopefully, um, I spend all of this today because I really want some bomb ass food. And maybe I'll bring back some regalitos, you know? Like, let's see what I find there. Mainly hot Cheetos, but the Mexican version ones I'm really excited about. So we're about to cross and literally, like they're scanning the vehicles at this point. My friend was telling me that they didn't do this before, four months ago, that it would be quicker. Oh, see, this is new, the booth. Oh, what before do you mean the they booth? didn't have this like this style of booth. Oh, you see the people over there? Are they waiting to get inside? Which ones? On the on top of that bridge over there. Oh yeah. Are, Wait, is that the lane to get or inside out? or like to go back into? Mirror. It kind of honestly, I'm not even sure what way they're going. Damn, it switched. It, it to me, that's new. I hadn't seen that bridge before. People that you haven't been to uh, Tijuana, like right. you probably wouldn't recognize this. Like, and I'm talking years, like maybe right. like seven years. I don't know. So this is kind of fairly new, but the other for sure wasn't there before. Like even three months ago, I don't think it was there. Like that person, like they were there. Like that person is gonna get checked. Yeah. See. Oh. It's up to them if they find see? you suspicious. Like that, they'll tell you to pull in. But it's not a big deal. I mean, as long as you're not yeah, hiding anything. Or exactly. pretty much if you have to report something, yeah. they like make you pull in. Like, Or That's you should pull crazy. in if you have something to report. For sure. Like a big purchase. Yeah. Oh, wow. So is this basically it? Yeah, you're in Mexico. We're in Mexico, guys. <laughs> Mexico. Oh, my gosh. This is fun. Guys, I'm back in Mexico after two years. Oh, mira, I'm so glad. Get us a step and mocha. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and go to the beach. Como quieras tú. Let's go. <laughs> okay, and now we're heading to the beach, Playa de Tijuana, Rosarito Way. Wow, look at that art there. You guys, I've never been here, so literally, like, this is gonna be a whole adventure for me. A homeless. Oh wow, look at that globe. Cool. There's even homeless here on this thingy. Whoa, some of them are waiting to cross. Oh. It could be many things. And yeah, this is. The river dam right here is kind of Oh, where like people a, were trying to... They've been to... getting kicked out by the city, though. Like, they go in and they... People live there or they have in the past. So we're trying to find parking. Look at this cute little sign. Tijuana. Oh, we're going to be probably walking around here, right? Yeah. So... <laughs> that is not helping my... I need a pee. So that's not fucking helping. Dude, if you moved... Like, dude... <laughs> Come on! Get out the way! Don't they know that we both don't have patience? Wait, is that a parking right there? Oh, fuck! 
Heck yeah! Oh, the girl's just looking. Hater! Oh my god, do you want us to tip you now or what? Is that why you're like home? You know, we're just here at this restaurant or whatever. We're literally just gonna get a beer. That's really it. Well, she's gonna get a beer, I think, or I don't know. What are you planning on getting? Cantarito. A cantarito, that's what it is. I'm not much of a drinker. Oh, pina colada! <laughs> Without alcohol. Why would I want it without alcohol? I'm, I'm not much of a drinker, but you know what? When it comes down to it, I'm down for it. That's that's all I gotta say. Match? This is a little used. A little dried out. Like they've been around. <laughs> they've been around that one. Gosh. Well, this is TJ for you guys. <laughs> yeah, they brought us some little saltitas, some limon, some tostaditas, and saltitas. Like, you know, got a snack on something because honestly, I'm really freaking hungry. So, yeah. They're taking forever to like assist us with a drink. That's literally all we want. Do you want to get your shit together? Do you want my baggie? <laughs> but that's her cantarito. You know, compared to her <laughs> hand. Dude, and this is my drink. I ordered a piña colada. This shit, like, I could barely carry it with one hand. It has cinnamon on top, so cinnamon, cinnamon. Canela, that's what it is, canela. Little umbrella, piña, like. Okay guys, so we're finally out of there and literally they took so fucking long and we are finally gonna walk on the beach! Look at this guys! Oh, oh wow. Wow, this is so pretty. Like honestly, I love this whole aesthetic kind of vibe. Like bright colors, there's people playing over there. Getting a little performance, you know? People selling on the boardwalk, I guess you could call this. There's a lot more people over there on that side. But it's honestly such a pretty day today. It's like windy but sunny. Very cool, not too hot. So we're on the beach now and we're by the like border shit or whatever. And there's people news casting, you know. Can I join? Can you interview me? I'm just kidding. It's really shocking at this point that like people really do cross over through here. Oh, they have people's names on here. June 23rd, 2019. So this is just recent that this person actually came across. This is heartbreaking. And it makes me sad and knowing like, you know, my parents crossed over as well. So knowing the challenge and the boundaries that they have between us Mexicans and the US border, it's pretty heartbreaking. So there's this flag guys that basically doesn't have stars in it, as you can see. It has lines, which my friend said, she's assuming it's probably like the border instead of like actual stars. Guys, so we're literally heading out. There's literally a fire going on right now, right in front of us. How did this even happen in the first place? Oh, I wonder- wow, they're actually like on the hill. Literally, the firemen. Wow, how did this even- See, they're still a little bit lit. Oh my gosh. So we decided to pass by a cemetery real quick. Well, my friend decided to. Yeah. I've actually never really been to a cemetery. There's a thing going on right now. I don't want to record too much directly at them because I want to, you know, mm -hmm. respect the ceremony. I feel like recently has just been dug up. Marta Morales, 1971. That's crazy. But why is this one dug up out of all of them though? I don't get it. And honestly, I really do enjoy these stones. They're so pretty. The amount of money that people have to pay to get them really nice. As Denise was saying, she would prefer to have like her own family only like come to like her burial. And honestly, it makes a lot of sense because when you get older and stuff, people just like, you know, decide to just like brush it, you off or like not really talk to you and stuff. But once like, it comes to the day when you pass and you have your like your burial and stuff that's when people just want to all of a sudden like come through and be like oh i'm sorry for your loss and like have all these comments and stuff and 
And they were it, the greatest person ever. Right. It's like, was I really? Literally. Like, no, literally. Are you nicer to me in death than you were to me when I was alive? Exactly. So, like, literally, it puts a lot of perspective in that. Have close people in your life and stuff, but at the same time, it's like, who was really there for you and at the end of the day it's like your family that you got okay guys so we are now getting food and we are at this place called la taqueria veggie tijuana mexico so there it is right there the pole is kind of like blocking the view but literally it's just pure vegan fucking tacos i've been craving freaking tacos especially mexican food in general to try out authentic vegan mexican food that's literally all i've been freaking craving so Hopefully this satisfies my craving and yeah, that's really it. So I'm gonna show you guys inside. So this is the menu. There's asada, abobada. I'm literally trying to pronounce this in Spanish, but it's failing. I'm shook. I'm really excited to try out what these, these tacos will taste like. We just ordered, I got myself a, a, a taco de asada, una de abobada, y un Multi, molitas, I can't pronounce that. Molitas de un mixta de asada y adobada. So hopefully that's freaking bomb. We got ourselves little coats and some chips and some salsa. The salsa de aceite is literally my favorite. And then like they gave us samples of cam kombucha, una de pera y una de mango de y coco. So I don't know if I'll enjoy that, but we'll see. Because I'm not much of a kombucha fan, but I probably should like get like I really should start like getting myself into it. It's a good it's there you go, there you go. She's convincing me, guys. It's <laughs> a tostadita. Here's my salsita. How to eat a chip con salsa? But yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's the like a one. Oh god. You guys are missing out. So our food has arrived and literally this looks amazing. My friend ordered um, una de adobada, asada, and a mix. And I got whatever, the mulitas mixed with adobada and asada. So this absolutely looks delicious. So hopefully this is good. I'm actually just gonna try the meat in general. Mm. What do you think of it? Mm. It's good. Huh? Like that's really good. These are my favorite kind of tortillas to eat tacos with. So basically what it comes with is the abobada, with cebolla, cilantro, la salsa verde con frijol. I'm enjoying this. Okay, girl. You're taking everything away, Denise. <laughs> I'm like here like eating the taco without limon. Ni el chile que nos trajeron because Denise, she's hogging them. Doesn't want to share. <laughs> Okay guys, like if the tacos weren't enough, there was still like ensalada, samples, the guacamole. There's this little like slider I'm gonna try out for sure. I tried the slider. It's really fucking good guys. Like, oh my god. It's really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is my go-to spot now when it comes to Tijuana. I don't think this is the only stop that we're going by to get food, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm ready to fucking eat. I'm ready. I'm ready. Like, I told you to make room for it. Honey, well, there's free food. She, I'm was try, she was trying to buy chips earlier before crossing. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Bitch, come on. Just get the Mexico chips. True. And those are actually my favorite. But who would I be if I don't at least have chips for a snack before actually eating them? Come on. <laughs> Now I'm gonna actually try the asada one. So I added some of the salsita, you know, the frijol. The same thing that had the adobada, but it's, a, it's asada, so. <laughs> she's classy, she's a classy baby. Very classy, guys. Mm -hmm. So first bite. That's the asada? Mm -hmm. The asada's the best, huh? It's good. It's my favorite. The resemblance of asada is on the real, like, right there. A lot better than actual, like, carne, you know? Honestly, better than the adobada, but in general, like, 
This is really good, guys. You guys, it's close to the time. So I got myself a mini donut, and she got, what was it, like a cinnamon waffle kind of thing? You got it. Right? Okay, yeah, a cinnamon waffle. It literally looked like a waffle with the raspberry. There you go. So I love chocolate, so I'm going to take a bite of this. A little bit, but it's more chewy than an actual donut. Either way, you should go to Donut Front, downtown LA. Oh, really? Donuts. Why do I really have to be in LA? Do you really think I have time to go all the way to LA? But it's good. Donuts have never been my preference because siempre no me caen bien. But hopefully, yeah. Why? Like regular donuts. Why? But I don't know how they, I don't know. Like it just upsets my stomach. It's too heavy oh. or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, so far, this is good.